Hello. Okay, so tonight I'll be working on the shopping list. I worked a little bit on it today when I had a spare moment. Um, so let's go. I'm just gonna scroll through the code a little bit. So you can see the updates if you wish. And you can just pause the video if you want to read the code. Okay, so essentially what I did today is we have a button that we can use to add an item. But I also wanted to be able to use the enter key to add my item like so so I worked on implementing that and which proved a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be but I've done that which I'm quite happy about And uh, yeah, I'm just thinking what else I need to do. So let's see. If if item is added, hide instructions. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. Put that here and drag those two up. Plus, make her disappear after five seconds. No, don't need that. So, we have already done a few things. Let's see. Oh, another thing that happened is my headphones stopped working, my wireless ones, which I was quite sad about. They wouldn't charge, I don't know why. I've not dropped them or anything, but that's okay. Let's see, so we have our shopping list. Here is our code. Uh, what do I need? If item is added, hide instructions. Okay. So one major thing I did is I created a function for this entire process. And I created an event listener for the button so that when I click on it, we run the entire script. And here is the enter keyword that I did here. And the same action again. Um, so that's what I need to figure out. So I have my instructions displaying like so. Now when I add an item, I want to make sure that thing disappears. And that's where I try to implement it here. So the part okay 
So the challenge here is that whenever we add an item, it goes inside the li, which is a list. Now I want to be able to detect the list, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I'm gonna try a few things. So if document a query selector li. Okay, so what I did here is if if document does not have li or is not an empty string. gonna take a look and see if we are even hitting this mark I don't think we are checking LI We did go inside this loop. This failed to render. I just realized something.
So I just read this part here. Delete all button, that should set it to hidden. So got some stuff here. It does not hide it. So I need to be using is hidden here. Okay, no, 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 that, actually no, that is, that is correct, that's fine. I confused myself with that. And especially this kite help. This is for um, this is for the arrow paragraph, which is this one here. So I actually confused myself. <clears throat> so is. setting it <laughs> oh no I have been confusing myself Oh, 
Oh, excellent. Perfect. That's beautiful. And I can still bring it up and hide it. Yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Yeah. I kind of confused myself there. Yeah, but... Oh man, I feel so proud of this. <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. I love it. Hopefully the music's not too loud actually. I don't know if it's too loud or not, so I just lowered it a little bit. Yeah. The next thing that I want to do Maybe we can install the buttons. Let's see. Background color. Adding um, top left, no, sorry, top right, bottom left, if I recall correctly. Go back, uh, yes, I believe so. Yes, but I am going. To give it a 2px of top and bottom. There. Looks good now. Enter a new item. No, not enter. Add a new item. Should be. <coughs> Okay. 
one more thing. Um, that's very curious to me. When shopping list. with kite to 40. The reason this gets pushed so much is because nothing is there. It's a big margin. What if I were to delete the margin? Uh, this is info paragraph, info para. So where's the margin? This one we don't want to touch, but this one is a quick test because I don't remember. Ah, oh, I see. Position relative right twenty percent. Okay, now I can move you, but in the other direction.
So I had to add those three. Let's see. are pushing the thing a lot downwards I cannot say I'm sorry it's not PTAC it's the span that's the margin okay well let's grab our span somewhere here oh press pan here already my mistake Still pushing it quite a bit. If anything, I want padding. We got 10 px. You know what? I'm not gonna worry too much about it uh, because. I just don't feel like it is that significant. And what happens is when I create, when I, when I click on the help slash I, the P tag gets created. That's why you see. Sounds like I can. 
Oh, that's dope. You can see what you type. <laughs> uh, we can't do that. I think I'm pretty much done with it. <clears throat> um, it does everything I wanted to do. Um, I should probably clean up the code a little bit though. Take a look at it. Shopping list, add a new item, add item, delete all. Yeah, I think. items class draw full arrow
final night that was happened. That was an interesting one. Don't need those comments. Less than 100 lines of code. Alright, so that's, that's um, well, I don't know if that's cleaned up, but I am happy with this, to be honest. And I'm gonna put that up on Reddit and see what kind of feedback I get from uh, web dev people and see what they say. Um, one of the things I presume they will say is that there are too many comments that are unnecessary um, uh, which uh, I can see that but I want because I'm still learning I want them to be able like to be able to be like this because they are essentially my notes Styles is here, fine. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's super cool. Now I need to put all of this in the code pen IO. this out <laughs> and that's the shopping list and 
It is working. Right? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna refresh it. So this is a fully working list. But I'm gonna show you the CSS magic right here. It, it's so cool, like check this out. This is all done with just the CSS. Alright, that's epic man. Alright, let's save this. Oh, how so? I can't save it? Yeah, that's fine. Maybe Codepen doesn't like me anymore. Pen saved. Oh, it, it got saved now. Alright, so, yeah. Yeah, that'll be it for today. And yeah, until the next project, I guess. Whatever that may be, time will show. Thank you for watching and bye bye.